A disturbing details laid out by Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax's accusers. Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson described their encounters for the first time since making their sexual assault allegations in February, both discussing the impact it had on them and why they're now coming forward. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is in the studio with more on what we learned. Tommy. We learned what it may have sounded like if Tyson would have testified in front of a General Assembly committee, which is something she still wants to happen. She sat down with CBS This Morning's Gail King for an interview that aired today. Well, he seemed very friendly. Vanessa Tyson went with Fairfax to his hotel room at a convention in 2004. And we're still kissing, right? And it's completely consensual. In an interview with CBS This Morning, Tyson describes the encounter in ways that may be disturbing to some people. I thought there was something wrong with my neck and he's pushing down and pushing down and I couldn't hold my neck up. She was unable to speak. To be honest, I'm in total shock. She says afterward he called and emailed her a few times, but she did not respond or initiate any contact. Tyson then goes on to explain why she initially did not tell anyone about what happened. I was so ashamed. I was so humiliated. At the time, she was working at a rape crisis center as a survivor speaker, trying to empower other survivors. She says she'd shared with Fairfax that she was a survivor of incest. Another woman, Meredith Watson, made allegations shortly after Tyson did. It, I can't even begin to tell you how hard it is, it, it is to come forward, especially against someone powerful. And when she came forward, she didn't want me to feel alone. And that meant the world to me. Watson also spoke with CBS this morning. And had I had the strength or the courage to say something in 2000, maybe it never would have happened to her. Fairfax has repeatedly denied the allegations. He issued a statement Sunday saying he passed polygraph tests that show that he's telling the truth when he says the encounters were consensual. Tyson, as well as many top Democrats, have called for Fairfax to resign. In the studio, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.